Hi everyone, my name is Yiming Zhou. I am a PhD candidate from Jalali Lab at UCLA. Today, I'm happy to introduce PhiCV, the first physics-inspired computer vision library. PhiCV is a new class of computer vision algorithms inspired by physics. The source code is available on GitHub, and the library can be installed from pip. Two highlights of PhiCV are the modular code architecture and compatibility for GPU acceleration. Currently, it has two algorithms, PST and PAGE, that are originated from Jalali Lab at UCLA. First, I would like to elaborate more on the term physics-inspired algorithms. Unlike traditional algorithms that are a sequence of handcrafted empirical rules, physics-inspired algorithms leverage physical laws of nature as blueprints. These algorithms can, in principle, be implemented in real physical devices for fast and efficient computation. To be more specific, PhiCV leverages the knowledge of optical physics and adapts it to computational imaging. The algorithms emulate the propagation of light through a physical medium with natural and engineered diffractive properties, followed by coherent detection. The diffractive medium will apply a phase kernel to the frequency domain of the image and converts a real valued image into a complex function. After coherent detection, the output phase contains useful features of the input image. Then I'll introduce the history and background of PhiCV. The algorithms in the current release of PhiCV are inspired by photonic time stretch, a hardware technique for ultra fast and single shot data acquisition. The technique involves the manipulation of time using optical physics, and that's why the logo of PhiCV is a sketch of a clock, which means the time. Photonic time stretch was originally proposed in 1998 to overcome the speed and resolution limitation of analog to digital converters. In the ensuing two decades, it has emerged as the most successful approach to real-time measurements and has mutated into many variants for diverse applications. For example, it leads to the discovery of optical rock waves, the invention of ultra-high-speed microscopy for cancer cell detection, etc. The full nonlinear Schrodinger equation governing the optical pulse propagation in the fiber is shown here, which takes loss, dispersion, and nonlinearity into consideration. Photonic time stretch can be understood by considering the propagation of an optical pulse through a dispersive fiber. By disregarding the loss and nonlinearity, the nonlinear Schrodinger equation governing the pulse propagation can be simplified to this integral equation. In the time stretch system, the information that is modulated onto the input pulse spectrum is reshaped into a temporal signal at arbitrary time scale with a complex envelope showing the equation here. Then we can convert the operator to the discrete domain. Instead of using continuous variable t and omega, we use discrete variable n and the corresponding frequency variable u. The 1D discrete stretch operator s can be written as the spectrum of the input signal multiplied by some general phase kernel k and amplitude filter l. Next, we can come to the 2D discrete stretch operator s as shown here. m and n represent spatial coordinates in the digital image, and u and v are the corresponding frequency coordinates. This 2D discrete stretch operator emulates an image propagating through a diffractive medium, just like a laser pulse propagating through a dispersive medium, which is the central process that governs photonic time stretch. This demonstrates how the algorithm is inspired by optical physics. Finally, we detect the phase of the output in the spatial domain by mixing it with a local oscillator with coherent detection. The detected phase contains useful features. Phase stretch transform, PST, is the first algorithm for, image digital, for digital image processing that is derived from photonic time stretch. In PST, we have a virtual diffractive medium that applies a nonlinear frequency dependent phase onto the frequency domain of the image. With higher amount of phase applied to higher frequency features, since sharp transitions such as edges and corners contain higher frequencies, by detecting the phase of the output, PST extracts the edge information. The edges can be further enhanced by applying thresholding and morphological operations. In general, 
PST is a computationally efficient edge and texture detection algorithm with exceptional performance in visually impaired images. PST was open sourced in 2016 and has more than 800 stars and 200 forks on GitHub as of mid 2022. Page, Phase Stretch Adaptive Gradient Field Extractor, is an improved variant of PST which detects directional edges. Metaphorically speaking, Page emulates the physics of birefringent diffractive propagation that is orientation dependent. The directional edge de detection gives Page the ability to pick out the structural details from images in a way that PST cannot. As shown in the figure here, the directions of edges are encoded into the color space of the image on the right. Also, as you can see, the logo of ICV also demonstrates color-coded directional edge on the sketch of the clock. Two highlights of ICV are the modular code design and compatibility for GPU acceleration. The modular code architecture follows the physics behind the algorithm and is therefore more intuitive. Since both algorithms in ICV emulate the propagation of the input image through a device with specific diffractive properties, which applies a phase kernel to the frequency domain of the original image. This process has three steps in general, loading the image, initializing the kernel, and applying the kernel. In the implementation, each algorithm is represented as a class, and each class has methods that simulate the steps described above. Moreover, GPU versions of, Phi of PhiCV are built on PyTorch and accelerated by CUDA. The GPU compatibility significantly accelerates the algorithms, which is beneficial for real-time video processing and related deep learning tasks. Here, we show the comparison of running time of 5CV algorithms on CPU and GPU for videos at 1080p, 2K, and 4K resolutions. For edge detection done by PST, the GPU version leads to approximately 100x acceleration. For directional edge detection done by page, the GPU version leads to approximately 50x acceleration. The demo here shows that 5CV can run real-time edge detection on 4K videos up to 35 frames per second. Note that the video is compressed and the visual effects may be affected by the screen recording. Okay, this leads to the end of 5CV introduction. In the next video, I will show you how to install and use the 5CV library. For more information, please refer to the GitHub repo, the Wikipedia page, and Jalali Lab website. Thank you.